So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I want to showcase to you guys how you get the incredible shield known as the fingerprint stone shield. This thing is unreal and it allows you to do some crazy things, probably one of the best shields in this entire game. Alright, so let's get into it. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the shield, the fingerprint stone shield, mine's a plus 24 obviously you need to level it up the only crazy thing about this is and the downside is the weight of this thing at 29.0 absolutely ridiculous and it requires 48 in strength to wield this thing it causes that madness build up and you can put a national one if you want to now if you pair this with a talisman like the dragon crest uh, great shield which enormously boosts physical damage negation i mean there's not a lot of things that can actually hit you while you're blocking i mean obviously guys if you're getting poison dropped on your ass, you're going to take damage, fire, etc, etc. But in terms of physical damage, and I've tried this out against much, much bigger enemies as well. Um, let me just run past these. I want to get more on me and I'll showcase you. I can block everything. I've tried it on bigger enemies as well. And I mean, obviously, the harder the hit, the more stamina to take off. And it's probably dependent on the stamina. But hey, let me tell you, this is absolutely ridiculous in regards to a shield and what it can do. It is craziness, guys. Now, I don't want to keep you waiting too long. You're probably just interested in how you get this thing. And it is a trick. But hey, you can try it out for yourselves, test it, build around it, whatever. Um, so where you have to come to get this, guys, it's craziness. So you first need to come to the capital and make your way down to the drain. Drainage system. Now, where I am on the map, right here, I'm going to go here, guys. Obviously, my capital is probably ain't the same as what yours is. Mine's been destroyed. So from here... The, the capital of ash is where i'm going to load it into so you when you're loading at the capital of ash um like i said you need to make your way down to the drain system so this is probably going to be different for you if your capital is still in in one so yeah just make your way down i'm pretty sure you'll find it. it's not too hard i remember exploring this place before my capital was destroyed and it was a place i actually activated a couple of checkpoints at already but hey just come to this hole here guys if your capital is destroyed jump down be very very careful obviously be very very careful natural drainage uh natural grace point we're going to is called the underground roadside so if you have that unlocked on your map and your capital hasn't been destroyed like mine just go there and that's where we're going to actually start the process of where you go to uh unlock this thing unlock the shield you have to trek guys you will have to fight a boss as well morg the omen but it ain't too hard to be honest so yes activate this grace and from this grace we're actually guys wanting to go through that door there but we have to actually unlock the door first and to do this we have to come out of this room and go left and follow this round guys and you want to jump down this hole in the floor ignore all these enemies i mean you can stand and fight if you want to i wouldn't recommend it though these guys hit pretty hard so I jump down here you can see i'm going to try and take my time here guys i don't want to speed up the video because i know they're kind of hard to follow if you do speed them up especially in places like this so here you want to take a sharp right and come down this tunnel and you want to be careful here now there's a few holes in the floor that will kind of like like there's one here you have to jump around that um yep you have to be very careful here because they can halt progress like nothing so yep come up here guys and just keep coming keep coming another hole there you want to avoid so jump around that i mean there's so many but this place is so big I mean, it's just crazy. So you're here, you want to go right through the, the open gate. Um, I'm going to run past these as well. I mean, I'm chopping them just for the fun of it. But hey, run past these. And come down here. Now, there will be an enemy here who actually kicked my ass. But um, I had to just get him back. So I, I beat him up. But hey, you can just run past him and go up the ladder. I think there will be another guy up here. But you can just get past him quite easily. So do that, guys. And just be careful. No, that isn't the door you're thinking of, but that is a door we do need to eventually go through. But to our right here, guys, as you'll see, there's a lever you want to pull to open up this gate. And that's what you want to do, because if you die, um, opening up this gate means there's a shortcut to get back to that door we just saw. And you'll see here, I actually pull the lever, I get picked up and body slammed on my head. <laughs> yep, but you see the gate opens up, guys, and this is the shortcut. So from the original Grace, the underground roadside Grace, if you open up that lever, you can just come out of this Grace point and go left. And instead of going through the hole in the floor, you can just run straight forward and go through where that gate has now just opened up. So pretty easy guys, just run past this dude. 
and then just take a, uh, a right here and open up this door simple as that and you're good because when you're in uh, like the animations of opening doors opening boxes pulling levers you're actually invincible so just be careful when you actually come out of it just to jump forward run forward and from here guys you want to actually well you can take a look a look don't look around like i did through the area but you want to come down to your left so just drop down here be careful don't actually jump just walk off and then come down here and at the bottom of this uh spiral kind of staircasey thing you want to go right but there will be a few items here for you to collect so collect them you may as well let's come this way guys run past these ads so like i said but well, yeah it's pretty pretty dark in here you know to be honest actually i'm thinking this is actually pre-recorded i'm commentating over it i'm thinking at the right time pull out my torch it's actually pretty dark in there so you can see i grab this here but you don't want to go that way you want to come back on yourself and come through this gate here and take a left and then a, a, a little right up this uh up this path so yeah well, as you can see guys it's a it's an absolute maze it took me literally about an hour and a half to remember where i had to go resetting numerous times dying as you can see here here are my my runes and here as well guys this guy killed me so i had to take my anger out on him and get him back but you can actually just run straight past this dude and just go for the ladder if you want to just drop a decent item which i'll leave you to explore it's not a musket but hey if you want to get that you can so come up this ladder guys come right to the very top just like so now we're good now we're good now you want to come through here and you can see now this is actually guys that door we first saw which is across from the grace so yes we want to open this just in case again if you do die you can basically just come back from the grace run straight forward and you got access to this door quite easily so just as i do if you want to just reset the grace you don't it's not necessary to be honest you don't have to do this if you didn't die making your way around but hey so yep, reset the grace and we go back. I actually changed my weapons here. Yep, just run. Uh, and you actually don't want to go through that door. You want to jump off here to your right. Ignore these ads. Some of them hit hard. It's why I changed my weapon just in case. Um, I actually think I almost die here. I did that a couple of times falling off here trying to make my way around. But hey. So here you just want to run and jump off to your left. And then jump up onto this little platform here. This little ledge. See, I'm getting absolutely obliterated. Look, <laughs> and then I'm pretty sure someone jumps out on me here. Yeah, and he chops him up as well. But yeah, I'm like, no, I'm not fighting as I'm running. And from here, guys, you just want to go to your right and you want to just run and jump off here. Then, guys, you want to uh, go through this pipe, uh, jump down through this pipe, just like so. And you don't want to go towards the gate, you want to come around this sharp bend and come this way. And here guys you actually want to come through the left as soon as you turn that corner and come down on yourself and you'll see a rat here you may just want to take it there we go and then go we go towards the green well on mine it's green it may be a different color on yours and here guys you actually want to drop down this hole and then turn back on yourself and turn around and you'll see a dude here pick that up nice and now you can see where we're at guys take a little thing and then we want to come down come down this pipe and take a left and come down again and now you will see a ladder so here just drop down the ladder guys and you actually there's a grace down here i believe actually i don't know we take this take this uh, thing from next to this part you may as well while we're here and i make a, a run through it now you take down this lift and there's going to be a grace down here which is actually quite a long uh, drop so you don't want to be jumping off or trying that hey there we go and now guys you activate the grace and you'll come up to a boss fight morg the omen i mean like i said he isn't hard to take out i mean it depends on your level i'm quite a high level to be honest um, and i actually tried to mess about with him to be honest and he killed me but hey i took him out quite easily after that so yeah from the grace guys just come forward just run forward and you'll see him down here luckily there is a grace there because if you uh, <laughs> if you had to make your way all the way back here if you died it would be absolutely ridiculous actually no i didn't die i didn't die fighting this guy what am i talking about i killed him straight away i killed him straight away morg the omen 
I just pull out my uh, flat knife tee and we just get to work on it. Quite easy to be honest. And from here guys, um, get that loot obviously. There's a chest as well you want to grab, but you also want to activate the grace. So yeah, grab the chest, activate the grace, and from here, you actually have to hit uh, the thing behind that chest. Whatever this is. Boom, and then when you hit it or just jump it into it guys, it reveals a hidden passage. Now this is where uh, you're going to need some parkour sk skills. So come through here guys, come around. I'm not going to lie, I dropped off about five times. But hey, if you just follow the path I take on screen now, it's pretty easy to drop down another level. Just like so. I know other people will go like make this a lot harder. You don't actually have to do that. I mean, it's, it's quite easy to be honest. Nah, when actually, well, to be honest, I, I stood here for, I was here for about half an hour trying to find a decent path down and once I actually got it, it was quite easy. As you can see here, guys, there's so many little ledges you can actually jump onto. But we're going down this way, just like so. And you can see that little ledge right down there. We're going to actually jump onto that. So we're going to step back a bit and then just run and jump. And there we go. From here, guys, one more jump down, I do believe. You can see it right there. Take a run. I think I, yeah, I step back. Then you just want to run and jump. I mean, I actually landed on nothing, but it looks like there's an invisible wall there. And here, guys, you actually, I think you just want to walk off. Do I jump? Yeah, you just walk off. And from here, guys, you get that beautiful incantation. And from here, you literally just want to follow this quick path around this corner. And there we have it guys, that is how you get this shield and it is as simple, I say it's simple, it ain't simple, it's crazy, it's long. But hey, I hope the video helped you out. If it does, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people. I will see you on that next one.